By popular demand, I'm going to review the IQ Air Health Pro air purifier. It's a uh, hyper HEPA air purifier. It's a uh, top of the line, medical grade, hospital grade air purifier. I've been using it for about two years, so just want to make sure I understand it enough that I could give you guys a, a good review of the pros and cons, who it's for, and whether if it's worth paying uh, 900 bucks for this thing versus uh, a regular uh, HEPA air purifier. Hey, welcome to another episode of Sick Gear. My name is Jeffrey Lin. On my channel, I share my personal journey with multiple chronic illnesses. I'm literally allergic to everything on the planet at a very toxic scale. Uh, I have really severe asthma and have one of the most severe eczema skin conditions that research doctors have ever seen. So good air quality is super important. Uh, I'm definitely in the category of being immunocompromised. So uh, especially during uh, this time with COVID-19 all across the world, uh, it's even more important to have good uh, air purifiers and uh, breathing protection. So uh, I've been traveling around the world um, with uh, just this really hefty breathing mask even before COVID. That's how I was able to even travel and be around with uh, other people with uh, odors, perfume, cigarette smoke, chemicals in the air. But what do you do when you're at home and those problems still bother you? The Mayo Clinic released a uh, research paper showing that uh, HEPA air purifiers are able to clear out enough of the COVID-19 virus so that indoor spaces are safe, indoor spaces such, such as uh, gyms and even restaurants. So just the basic HEPA air purifier uh, can reduce the amount of transmission of the COVID-19 virus. But by popular demand, I'm going to talk about the IQ Air Health Pro that I've owned for about two years. It's one of the most popular high-end HEPA air purifier. Did you know that HEPA filters were invented during World War II, during the Manhattan Project, where the U.S. was developing atomic bombs and there is a lot of uh, particles with radiation? So that was what the original HEPA filters were used to capture is radioactive particles so people wouldn't breathe it in when they're working around uh, the atom bomb. HEPA filters have been around for a long time. They're kind of the standard and the safest way to purify your air. Yes, there are newer air purifiers that uh, tout features like ionizers and uh, using UV light, but often those would make it that uh, there's ozone released and ozone is a toxic um, compound and it's especially dangerous for people like me with asthma. So most hospitals, clean rooms, and even uh, the Tesla air purifier in the car uh, for their biohazard mode, they all use HEPA filters. So I'm not going to go over how HEPA filters work in detail. We did that in the best air purifiers for severe allergies, asthma, and eczema. But in that video, I explained HEPA filters using the very basic, most popular model, um, the Honeywell HPA uh, 200 and 300. The reason I explained it with the Honeywell is because these are the most common. All HEPA air filters have actually three components. Pre-filter, which uh, captures uh, a lot of dust, uh, other particles, lint, uh, things like that that are uh, bigger particles. For the IQ Air, it's this first level down here. Air comes in from the bottom, clean air comes out up here. So um, the first filter that uh, the air comes through and passes through would be the pre-filter, the v that goes through at this bottom layer. Uh, the next two layers up here is the fan. This layer up here is the VMAX activated carbon and uh, aluminum 
uh, odor filter and chemical filter. So this is uh, really important for uh, capturing uh, various chemicals, like I said, that might be released from your carpet or cleaning products or even uh, certain foods that y you might be cooking. Finally, this top layer is the special Hyper HEPA air filter. So what makes the Hyper HEPA air filter better than uh, just the basic HEPA filter? So the Hyper HEPA air filter captures particles down to 0 0.003 microns, which is a hundred times smaller than uh, the regular HEPA filters, which only uh, captures down to uh, 0.3 microns. So the traditional HEPA filter can capture 99.97% of all particles down to 0.3 microns. And that's already really, really good. Like I said, the Mayo Clinic uh, research showed that uh, just the traditional HEPA filter can clean your air of most of the COVID-19 virus, so it's not uh, dangerous indoors. However, um, viruses are usually uh, in the size of 0.3 microns and smaller. So uh, the hyper HEPA filter can even captured 99.5% of that. Uh, while the traditional HEPA filter can only capture about, you know, 35, 37% of, you know, viruses that small, which is still okay because you're not in a space that's filled with viruses. They're just certain viruses in, in and around the air. So if you can filter out 30% each time the air circles through uh, the air purifier. Each time you capture 35% and the next time it rotates through, it captures 35%. Eventually you'll clean out most of uh, the viruses and other particles in the air. So it just takes more circulation, more time. But if you don't want to take any risk at all, if you want to just have uh, viruses captured in uh, one go, the hyper HEPA air filter uh, has a better chance of doing that. Obviously, you're paying up for uh, something like this and what expensive really is the filter technology. Um, it's not just the hyper HEPA air filter, but it's also uh, the pre-filter down here and the VMAX um, activated carbon and aluminum uh, odor filter. Uh, for uh, the traditional uh, HEPA air filter, um, like this one, it only has one layer of carbon air filter and it's not all that great. It does its job, so uh, if you're tr you have a budget and you're trying to stay, stay with, uh, I would say this is good enough. Other than viruses that are smaller than 0.3 microns, both of these will capture just about 100%, 99.97% of anything bigger than that. That would include stuff like tobacco smoke, which is 0.01 to 4 microns, uh, bacteria, 0.3 to 60 microns, and household dust, 0.5 to about 10 microns, pet dander, uh, 2.5 to 10 microns, Mold and spores, three to 40 microns, and pollen, 10 to 100. So both of these will capture uh, most particles just fine. So what are the pros and cons of the IQ Air Health Pro? Well, the pros are, uh, even though it is expensive, the filters last much longer. Uh, traditional HEPA filters, you might have to change it out every three months. That's the recommended, but for these, uh, these filters last one to two years. The pre-filter down here, uh, you gotta change it every 18 months or so, but the VMAX odor filter, you change it every uh, 24 months, and the HEPA filter can last about 50 months, and that does reduce the cost. It's just more cost upfront for you to uh, buy the unit and buy the initial filters. Uh, to fill it up, but once you've done that, uh, averages out to about a hundred bucks a year for 
switching out the filters. Also, this one has a much stronger, uh, bigger fan, so it can cover uh, a, a larger rooms. So if you have a big room, open space or a studio like this room, that's the main reason why initially before COVID, uh, that's why I got this IQ Air Health Pro. I just needed something that had a big enough uh, capacity. And that's one of the really important things about choosing the right air purifier, like I uh, explained in uh, best air purifiers for uh, severe allergies. In that video, I explained that the rate that it can clean out a room called the CADR rating. Uh, that's really important because like I said, um, you know, sometimes uh, certain air filters aren't that efficient. So you got to clean it out through the system multiple times, right? So uh, the faster you can circulate the air uh, through this thing and clean out uh, the air in the room, the cleaner the air is going to be. Um, with uh, smaller air purifiers that um, don't have a big enough fan, it can't reach uh, the air on the other side of the room. It can't clean all that air. So uh, when you're looking at uh, picking the right air purifier, uh, it's really important to uh, check the CADR and that it matches your room size. You always want to go with the CADR rating that's a little bit bigger than your room size just to make sure that it can handle uh, your room size and clean out all the air uh, with enough cycles. So the IQ Air Health Pro maximum capacity can clean a room that's 1,125 square feet and it can clean it out uh, in 30 minutes. So each hour it cleans the air in the room twice. The other things I like about it are it's actually relatively light with wheels. You can move it around. It's very portable. It has this open area fan that where the clean air comes out of uh, these vents up here. So it releases the clean air in a 320 degree angle um, instead of many other air purifiers, it's, it's one directional, but this one, it, it spreads it out in all directions. So that also um, is more effective at cleaning the air in your room and you can have more options of where you wanna place this. It also has six speeds, um, has a timer, so you can program uh, when you want it to start and stop. And it'll give you a reminder of uh, when to change out these filters. There are other models of the IQ Air that they all look basically the same. What's different is the filters that go inside. The difference between the IQ Air is really only this VMAX odor catching filter. This VMAX odor catching filter has five pounds of activated carbon and they're uh, designed in these little pellets to be able to absorb even more odors, chemicals, smells, gases. So if there's a leak or there's aerosol from hairspray that your family's using, this captures it. It's not the HEPA, hyper HEPA filter that catches odors. It's the activated carbon filter that does that. Overall, I've been really happy with how this has performed. And uh, when you have it on, uh, maximum speed at level six. It does clean out the room super fast. I've shown in other videos, I have the aware air monitor and uh, when the air quality sp spikes and becomes kind of bad, especially here in LA in the summertime with a lot of wildfires, uh, this thing cleans it out super fast. What are the drawbacks or the cons of the IQ Air Health Pro? What don't I like about it? I actually don't like the design all that much. It's really hard to open up and change the filters. Um, it's not very stable uh, when you do that. The design of uh, the indicators and things like that um, are very antiquated. I mean, the model for the IQ Air series uh, it hasn't really changed for about eight or 10 years. Um, it doesn't have an air quality sensor. That's why I need the aware air monitor. The timer, uh, you can only set it for 
uh, certain hours of the day and you got to program it manually like a, a very cheap um, digital watch or uh, your microwave. Now the question you guys are asking is probably, do I need to pay up for uh, the IQ Air Health Pro and spend 900 bucks on this thing? If you don't have the budget, I would say no. Like I said, the standard HEPA air purifier, the Honeywell HPA 200 and 300, uh, those work good enough. And for most cases, even uh, with severe allergies and asthma, uh, those would capture 99.97% of most things. Um, you could get a, a different type of HEPA air purifier that has slightly better um, odor absorbing carbon activated filter. The Honeywell HPA 600B, that's the one I like and that I use in my room that has a much better uh, carbon odor filter. That's probably as much as you would have to go. You don't have to go all out and get something uh, like this. All right, uh, guys, hope that was helpful. Um, let me know what other uh, air purifiers you guys have tested out and that you really like. Obviously, I can't buy every single air purifier out there and compare them all. So I've only been reviewing the stuff that I've used for a long time and that I feel comfortable uh, recommending to you guys. So uh, let me know what you guys like and uh, if you have any other suggestions of what I should review next or topics about uh, chronic illnesses or uh, suppressed immune systems that I should talk about, uh, let me know. Uh, my name is Jeffrey Lin. You should follow me on Instagram at Jeffrey Lin LA and uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys on the next video.